Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new so far. We are jumping in again and we are going to go ahead and go as some fucking fella. I don't know which one. Which one? Okay, uh, we've got like tons done at this point. Like so many characters fully complete. Um, we're getting pretty close to being like all completion marks are done, which is kind of crazy. We've still got an Isaac Greed mode, uh, tainted characters wise. I'd love to play on Maggie, but we've kind of completed everything as Maggie. Um... We could do Azazel to um, the Beast, maybe? Azazel to the Beast might not be a bad idea. Um, oh, damn. It's hard to choose, man. It's hard to choose. Yeah, let's let's just do Azazel and try and do Beast. It's our last mark as him, so why not? I, th I think it's our last, last mark. I didn't actually see if we have Greedier done. Um, no, we don't have Greedier done either, so we've got to get that done. Oh. Hello. Secret buttons. Where art thou? I see another one just here. Gimme, gimme. Oh, nope, that's not the right one. There you go. <laughs> I got that eventually. And we get old dice, which is pretty goddamn good. Old dice um, allows us to reroll stuff on pickup, which means we don't a we don't actually get to really choose what we're getting. Um, but it does mean if we get a bad item, we have the opportunity to reroll. And it's a two-room charge as well, so it's it's a very, very good and respectable reroll item. Um, it can just be a little risky at times, but I'm, I'm pretty much okay with the risk. That was a really bad hit there. It's kind of funny how, like, I bopped that guy's head away as he was uh, throwing it off of himself. But there you go. Um, two big rooms here. Two big-ass rooms. Okay, try and stay away from Ferk here. Uh, I do need to start prepping this week, because um, <clears throat> this weekend I'm going back to see my family for a little while. Uh, and I need to get my videos in order. I, I've been doing a really bad job with uh, with YouTube at the moment in terms of having videos prepped and ready. Uh, what I tend to like to do is have have all my videos recorded like a few days in advance, and then um, I can upload them early and have everything prepped. The last few weeks that has not been the case, as some of you might be able to tell by my somewhat sketchy upload schedule of being a l the times being a little bit off. Uh, it's just because I haven't actually had the videos ready, and so I've been needing to, the room to so, sort of make them to order. Um, like today, like this is I don't have any Isaac episodes backlogged, so I'm just doing this one for today. Um, but I really need to get back on it with um, with getting them all prepped and stuff, because it isn't it isn't ideal. Oh, dude, come on now, it isn't ideal to not have videos prepped. It really isn't. Okay, being able to brimstone's curse you right off the bat is pretty amazing. Makes my life a lot easier. Um, and we get an item that I quite like off the bat as well. A quite a hefty chunk of extra damage. We like that. Jesus Juice is one of those weird ones. Because it's also in the Angel Pool, which is thematically fitting, but, like, power-wise, really not. But also, I, I kind of get that you've got to have some, like, weaker but still good items in the pool. You don't want to just have crap and amazing items. You need sort of that the in-between ground sort of items. As for the question of the day, what's what's a food or drink in a TV show that doesn't exist that you really want to try? I think, even though it's like somewhat kind of real, um, I think my favorite one is like the uh, the Krabby Patty from uh, SpongeBob. There's like an episode where they do like a I can't remember why they do it now, but there's like a, a voiceover of a guy like talking about how amazing it is, and it's like this really sort of advert-esque looking shot of the burger. And it just, I remember as a kid thinking, God damn, that looks like the best burger I've ever seen. <laughs> and it still to this day is like one of those things that I think of when I think of like, ooh, what, what's a cartoon food that would be really tasty? And it's like, dude, that burger, that burger schmacks. My God. That looks like the tastiest thing known to man. Okay, we kind of want to destroy all the poops here if we can. Get this guy to just fly away. I'd rather not deal with you. Okay, let's just do our boss. I love the Brimstone's Curse here. Killed him extremely quickly. Toy Drum is very good as well. Okay, we've not had any need thus far to actually use utilize our old dice, which is kind of weird. Uh, but we'll look around. we got Shop up here. Um, we've been through here, right? No, we have not. No, we have not. But our damage is at a good place right now. Two damage giving items is the sort of thing we want to see. Uh, keep going back this way because I think, yeah, item rooms here. I mean, yeah, alright. 
Okay. It's a... Uh, it's one of those sort of runs, game. It's one of those sort of runs, is it? Cheers, man. Cool. <laughs> no need to reroll anything, baby, because we have the most beautiful selection of items already. And I think we still, yeah, we still get our brimstone plus C-section. This is very, very good. Very, very good indeed. We have it all. We have it all. It's the most beautiful thing. God, the C-section... Rem remember back in the day when Repentance came out when C-section literally did nothing and was impossible to find on a run? <laughs> and it was like everyone's last item for uh, the Dead God. Because you had to get it with... Um, what's it called? Death Certificate? There was literally no other way to get it. Oh, back in the day. Classic times. And then, yeah, then, like, in a random update, it just got made into, like, the most interesting and best item ever. <laughs> Pretty awesome. It is slightly annoying that it only pops out two C-sections at a time, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with it. Oh my god. The items right now are, I have to say it, tickety-boo. They are tickety-boo indeed. I'm in love. Yeah, almost walked into the spikes there. The thing we need right now really badly is just some extra HP, because our HP is in a bad spot. Now, sometimes it's only firing out one C-section baby. I would really like it to fire out more. Maybe that's to do with a fire rate though. Maybe if I up my fire rate, I'll get more C-section babies. Okay, come on little hugger. You know you want to give me what I want. Soul heart, please, you little, you little rat. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely in the phase at the moment, oh no. I'm definitely in the phase at the moment of like, I need, I need something new in Isaac to, to, to like, I would say hold my interest, it's not like I'm completely bored of it, but like, it would be nice to get something new. We did just get a new mod with a new character called Sacred um, Dreams, I think it's called, which is pretty cool, but I need something bigger. Something more, more saucy. Um, I was hoping with Repentagon we'd get some really cool shit, but I think because of when Repentagon came out, we're still sort of waiting on that to happen. That's like not quite come yet. The screw is fire rate. That's exactly what we're looking for. Still only two babies though. But yeah, still literally not a single reason to use our old dice yet, which is pretty funny. Um, oh gosh. But yeah, I like, I just, I feel like I need something. I mean, I'm enjoying the streak, but the, the problem, sort of, I've created this strange problem now with, um, with this, this idea of doing three concurrent series. I like it and I'm enjoying it, but... I've created this problem of, like, now I, I I have a favorite series, and it's definitely The Streak by a long shot at the moment. Um, and so I only ever want to record The Streak, but, like, I, I need to make sure to be recording this. I just, I, I, I do like this series for, like, obviously getting unlocks and, like, being able to take a bit more risks, but at the same time, like... The streak, just there's actual stakes to it. I feel like that, like, it gives, all, it gives the series a lot more sort of, I don't know, um... It's just more enjoyable when there's sort of more stakes around a, a, a win. I mean, at the minute, I'm, I'm going to try my best to stay alive here, because this is a pretty good run, and I'm, I'm playing it pretty poorly thus far. I'd like I'd like it if I could keep myself together or actually get something going here, but we'll see. Really? You, you managed to survive that? Get out of here. Really? You see that dude just like zoom off then? No thanks. Come on, C section babies. You know you want to get going here. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Where's those double bombs? I see. I see him on the mini map of the app. Okay. Yeah, I gotta say, it's, it's just one of those things. I feel like I get like it all the time with Isaac. It, it just. It, I go. It ebbs and flows. It really does. Uh, increased knockback is rather nice. It ebbs and flows. Sometimes I'll be like super, super into Isaac, and other times I'll be like, yeah, I want to record something else for a little while. But like, I think it's just it comes with the sort of territory of of doing Isaac every day. You're always gonna have sort of the ups and downs. Uh, we get this, which 
Hmm. I think I am going to take this. Just let's see if I can all dice the, uh... Can you stop moving so much? My C-section baby's having a really hard time killing you right now. Trinity shield, there you go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And I'll take this. Um... Activate a random effect. Friendly Psy Hunter. Calling card. Queen of Clubs. A lot of bombs. I like it. We got Mum's knife. Fifty percent chance. Oh, that's kind of scary. Stars. Okay. Um, I guess I'll re-roll that, that bad boy because I do not want it. Yeah, I took the Excelsior thing, whatever it's called, because I can still use my uh, my dice outside of it being like for its intended use to uh, fire off fireworks. So why not? Right. Iron bar, lovely. Some concussing power. Don't mind if I do. Only a small bit of concussing power, but it's something. Right, let's get the hell out of here. I don't think we need to do any more of these rooms. Still, not feeling too great about my HP, but we'll uh, we'll make it. We'll make it. But yeah, Isaac's one of those things where like. I definitely enjoy it more when there's other purpose, like I said, with the streak. But also, I do enjoy it more when, when people are clearly enjoying it more. Um, and, I don't know, G January and February at the start of the year always seem to be a bad time for YouTube. YouTube videos always seem to do worse. So that, that definitely puts a little bit of a damper on it. Um, and I say, it was... I think, I think like... I just want to get back to where my sort of peak of Isaac was, which I don't know if I ever will. We'll have to see, like, just sort of how the YouTube trends go and if I get lucky. Um, but we went through a stage of literally every single Isaac upload was getting a, a thousand views minimum. And that, that was like, that, that, that's always been kind of like one of my goals for YouTube to get to the point where every video gets at least a thousand views and we're in that stage for a little while so it was i think it's kind of just like the backlash of not backlash but like the whiplash of going from having that and being really excited to like unfortunately it dipping back down again but that's at the same time you can't really hold on to those because that is just how youtube works there'll be a trend going at one point or you'll you'll be right in the youtube algorithm and you'll get all the views you want and stuff but then sometimes you fall out of it and you'll get brought back in and it's it's kind of kind of weird you have to be pretty resilient i don't know if resilient is the right word but you have to have some thick skin to um to do youtube sort of like what's if i don't i don't literally do it full time but you know what i mean full time in this respect um because yeah you, you do have to kind of realize that it's not all it's not all positive sort of thing it's not like you, it, it, it can get you down um and there is going to be times where you, you're you sort of doing your videos and you're, you're like, maybe in the middle of the video, you're feeling like, oh, what the fuck's the point? Or who's actually going to watch that sort of thing? You get you get into your own head. But I think after a long time of doing YouTube, I've learned better to deal with that. It still happens quite, I wouldn't say quite frequently, but like it still happens like three or four times a year where like I'll just randomly get really down on it. I, I always say it's like the YouTube blues. Um... Get like really down on your own content, or really down on like your surprise subscribe account or, or whatnot. Um, it's, it's really really easy to do, and I, I reckon even the big creators get like that. And I think as, especially as well, it gets it gets so easy to start comparing yourself to other YouTubers. That's a definite big thing. Uh, I, I I find that I um I often will see like people doing similar content to me and compare myself to them and, and wonder like. Why are they getting the views and I'm not? And at the end of the day, there's one reason and one reason only. YouTube is almost entirely based on luck. There's 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 very little you can do to be to like guarantee being that shining star. You can be you can be making some of the best fucking content on YouTube and it will never fucking show anyone. It it and then sometimes people will make the silliest fucking memes videos that thought, oh, this takes me like two minutes. There you go. This isn't gonna be seen by anyone, and it literally becomes absolutely viral. Like it, 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 that's just the way it goes. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I mean, there's obviously things you can do to excel on YouTube and sort of 
things you can do to make it a better chance that you will end up um, succeeding with your content. Clears all in projectiles in the room, pushes uh, nearby enemies away. You can use this three times before it disappears. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, uh, it, it, it's just one of those things you have to kind of accept that you're not really fully in control. You just, I think it's just kind of, you've got to keep plugging away. One, one thing that I'm sort of, I won't say annoyed at, but one thing that I'm pretty bad at at the minute and I really need to get better at is, um, is content variety. Uh, I've spoken a few times about doing some other games and bringing back some old games on my channel, um, like Dead Estate and things like that, that I really do want to do, um, because I enjoy playing those games, I enjoy recording them, and I enjoy people enjoying them. But at the same time, it's it's difficult because, like, especially when you've got something like Isaac that you're doing every day, that's already at least an hour that I'm committing to Isaac per day, um, or, like, at least on other days, committing that time to uh, making sure I have Isaac recorded and sort of ready. Um, then I have to make sure I've got Nuclear Throne ready, because Nuclear Throne is one of my favourite series, but also quite popular on the channel, so I've always got to make sure I've got Nuclear Throne ready. Uh, Enter the Gungeon is just a staple of the channel at this point, so that always gets a good slot. But then I've been having some other stuff going on with this uh, Minecraft thing that I did, um, and stuff like that. So there's kind of like, yeah, a hierarchy to it sort of thing. Reroll that into Pentacles, not bad. Um, and I, I need to sort of find a better way of sort of arranging myself to, uh, to be set up for success for those sort of things. And having a bit more time to uh, to work on these things. I'll take a speed up, why not? I've not really been using my Brimstone's Curse at all here, but... I think with C-Section it's really not a priority anymore. Ooh, lovely. That's kind of what I was hoping for, getting a soul heart out of all of that. I wasn't expecting it, but oh, for fuck's sake, I lost it instantly to a... Uh, I always forget the troll bombs have a random fuse on them, so I'm always like, yeah, I've got time. No, I don't. A random fuse means you never have time. And of course, you're here. Great. Puts us in a very, very bad spot right now, and this, this could be a pretty embarrassing run to lose. Not gonna lie. This could be a pretty embarrassing one to lose. Okay. It's alright, the C section will potentially carry us. Okay. We're good, we're good. Right. It's Mum's foot, which is actually probably the most awkward one to have. Why, why does coming down have such an issue with that attack? Every time she does that attack, it errors. Oh, really? I got hit there? We're somehow good. We're somehow good. I didn't even grab my fucking fool card. How dare I? I'm just going to full card myself, it's fine. Right, um... Anything here I might want? Yes, but I'm, I'm not going to cheese it. I'm just going to grab my full card. What is it? Spawn... 5.300.1. There we go. I'm stupid. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Run's already a bit of a tragedy in terms of my HP, so... You're going to let me get away with this. It's fine. You know, you know you want to let me get away with this. Right. One second. Right, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving and grooving. Oh, God. I, I, I do think I'm probably going to die on this run, despite it being so good. I think one thing that's holding me back, though... I mean, I'm really liking this run, but the fact that, like, like I said, I'm only firing two C-sections at once makes things a little harder. I'd like to just fire them normally. But I don't have that luxury. Luckily, they still do a lot of damage regardless. And we've got... Right, we can take this, see what it is. Football, don't know. Toxic Shock, I'm very happy with. Toxic Shock will help a good amount with certain enemies. 
Yeah, that ball is, yeah, I guess I didn't know, didn't know what that ball did. Wasn't excited to find out. Got a lot of money to work with here, so hopefully the shop is valuable to us here. Can we not with this guy? Here's the shop. And in here, yeah, we got Cyst. Cyst is not bad. Cyst is not bad. Does that mean one of those C-section babies has like 79 damage? Can we can we not little little jumpy boy? Thank you. Don't even know what happened here. I I am I'm literally bef completely befuddled as to what happened there. One of the enemies was walking outside of the fucking like walls of the room. That was a little scary because yeah, one one wrong misstep there and that could have gone really bad. Right. Away we go. Yeah. We do get a bed at the end of all of this, so that's that's something. If we can survive, we do get a bed, which is going to give us three soul hearts. But I don't know if that fully convinces me as to my chances, really. Can you chill out, my guy? There's a few rooms on the Ascent that you can get that basically just give you free soul heart HP, so hopefully we can find a few of those as well. Oh, I literally can't use my dice unless it's on an item. So that whole thing about using the fireworks was was not true. <laughs> not true at all. These guys can fucking telefrag, so I'm not excited about that. <clears throat> Luckily, we got through them just fine. Get back you into a corner. Oh my god. Ah, you bastard. Okay, he hit me for a full heart there, so... That's not looking good. I didn't realize this guy had bouncy tears. What the fuck am I meant to do here? How did I survive that? I think the increased knockback I've got from a trinket is causing problems. I think it's causing significant problems. <laughs> well, this, this will have been a merry ride. Oh my god. I forgot I had this item that turns red hearts into soul hearts. If I'd have died with this item, that would have been... Crazy. <laughs> oh man, the C-section babies just don't know how to kill these dudes. Yeah, give me, give me more red hearts because they'll just turn to soul hearts. That'd be great. Also, how does toxic shock work in this scenario? Can these fucking ghosts chill out, man? Yeah, does Toxic Shocks take my, my 79 damage and use it on the room? Like, if I, if I don't hold anything, go on to this next room. No, it doesn't it doesn't seem to insta-kill them. Maybe it just has a, Toxic Shock just has a limit. Yeah, I'm not getting any red heart drops, which is annoying, because that, that'd bolster my health quite a bit. Wait, I should just pop the full card here. Boom. Easy. Full card is cheats. Ah, that one's only a half red heart. How dare you? How dare you? Insane. Oh my lord. Yeah, I guess how was I meant to not get hit there? There's so much going on. Can you fucking chill out sucking me? I would rather not be sucked. section did a good job of that guy. Don't like the idea of all of those dudes there. Okay, we're somehow still alive. I, I really don't know how, but we somehow are still alive. My god, yeah, the knockback is too much. I'm gonna keep it just because why not, but it is silly having this knockback. It moves him so far. No, what? That room was just instantly over. 
Get out of here, you fly. Okay. We've only got one more floor to make it through, and then we will be fine. That was a bit risky of me to do that, but I took the risk and it kind of works. Okay, these little ghosties can be a right pain in the ass, so let's uh, pay attention to them. I should probably blow that up to see if we get a red heart with it. So that could be a soul heart. Nope. 2.5% chance to fire a special spectral tier that teleports enemies. No, 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 no. That sounds very dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous indeed. How are you not dead, my guy? I have imbued you with so much fucking firepower for my C-section babies. Let me give me that sass. Luckily, I have Spectral and can kill you from afar. It's kind of nice to have that knockback to knock them away, but sometimes, as you can clearly see, it likes to knock them towards us. We do not like that. We do not like that here. Right, we somehow made it. God knows how the rest of this is gonna go. Ooh, the quarter. I can literally roll it into Rainbow Baby. Cute. My health! Oh my god, it's literally the highest it's ever been this run. <laughs> oh my god. That would be damage up, I believe. Go from 8 to 8.99. Not, not a big damage up. Oh, tears up is nice as well there. Okay. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty. Wait, no, damages are like... Okay, why is it at 26 sometimes? 8.99 doubled is not 26. I don't know where that's coming from, but... Toy, uh, Toy Drum is doing some weird shenanigans right now. Why? Why? Why, why would you place yourself there? That was horrible. Can you stop doing this one attack, please? Fucking hell. Okay, the ball actually damages me. Good to know. <clears throat> okay, we managed to make it through, and luckily we get healed up to a certain amount of hearts when we go into the beast fight, so there's a chance here. There's a chance. There you go. Look at that. Six hearts. Chilling. I don't know if Brimstone's Curse is really worth anything to us here. Fortunately, C-Section's not having an easy time with this right now. Kill him. Just to get a damage bonus from all those little flies we just killed. Uh, what the fuck just hit me then? How dare you? Right. <clears throat> There's a chance. There's a chance we're still okay here. Why? Why sometimes is it just a massive fuck off, baby? Is that to do with Toy Drum? I really don't know. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm getting hit so much at the moment. It's silly. Stay up. Keep your flies away from me, please. What the fuck? No! One of them was underneath me. Oh my god. We've only got three hearts left, and we've still got three bosses to go. I, 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 I gotta be honest. I'm not. I'm not supremely convinced, just considering how badly I'm playing. But there's, there's, there's a chance if I play well, I can do this. Lovely. Two more bosses to go.
And the damage we're outputting is pretty, pretty good. Um, don't really know how I was hit there. Should be able to get him during this phase. There you go. Two hearts to do the beast. Not too bad. Not too bad. As long as they can keep up with him. I'm hoping. Hoping they'll do a good amount of damage and not have to put me through too many phases of this guy. I do have bombs I can use as well. This fire attack always makes me uneasy. I think we're going to enter him into third phase. Yeah, literally instantly. I thought so. I could say by his health bar that we're getting close to that. If you remember, there is falling stalagmites on this section now, on occasion. They're not super common, but they are there. Looks like we've got this in the bag, though, doesn't it? There you go. Beautiful stuff. Pretty scary, but we uh, we managed to do it. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. It was a fun one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.